Hi, it's Rock on the Bobsphere, and we've got another Booker novel. Are we at the half point, halfway point? It's number six. No, seven would be the halfway point. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So this is Sanjeev Sahota's China Room. And, well, let's jump back a bit. Back in 2015, his second novel, The Year of the Runaways, was shortlisted for the, for the Booker. And I really liked it. I thought it was a really good tale of Indian immigrants surviving in London. This is different, even though the racism te theme is in there, but um, slightly, but it has more depth as you keep on going. What's the book about? Okay, so there are two timelines. One is in 1929, where a lady, a girl, is being has a husband chosen for her, but she doesn't know who he is yet. And when she does, it leads to complications. Let's put it that way. I'm not going to give too much away. The other one is in the form of a memoir about an Indian boy going to, uh, who lives in London, going to, London, to, going to India to rediscover his roots because he finds out the girl in here, Meher, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, is, his, uh, is a relative of his. Now, oh yes, as well, he has another ulterior motive and that's to go cold turkey because he's a heroin addict back in London. So, the majority of the book, in both timelines, takes place on a farm. In 1929, it's the house where everyone lives, and there's the husbands, and they all do the chores, and then there's the mother who oversees everything. Then, in 1999, it's abandoned and falling to bits. Now, despite the differences in timelines, both characters, the narrator of the 1999 timeline and the narrator of the 1929 timeline, both are experiencing the same problems, which means no matter what decade you are in, some things are always the same. So in this case, um, each character wants to break free from the shackles that are, uh, how should I say, the shackles that are clasped on their legs from by society. However, Mira can only break free by escaping the farm, and the narrator, the 1999 bit, is breaking free by going to the farm. So there's, that's, that's the only difference. Other than that, they are suffering from the same things. Both of them um, embark on a relationship which will cause trouble. Both of them are the victims of gossip. Both of them need to be free. Both of them are suffering. Um, for the narrator, he's also trying to purge himself from drugs. So it's, it's, a, it's a rich story. It's fun seeing how each character is suffering in the same way and their attitude towards it. In Meher's, unfortunately, Meher's attitude is a bit different because she knows she's a woman and she, she cannot fight as much as she can. In fact, the only strong woman in the household is actually the mother who owns the place. Other than that, she has to be submissive and she has to choose the husband that she has to marry the husband that has been chosen to her, has been enforced. While the narrator does feel a bit embattled because of his uh, overcoming his drug addiction and he's in love with a, a, a woman, but his attitude is different. But on the whole, there are similarities between both characters. Did I like this book? very much. It's a good, solid novel. Now, I have a feeling that the Booker, this year's Booker, is divided into two types. One experimental, and I think I've read them all now, and the other ones are the more conventional novels, which are coming up. I've got another one, another one, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be receiving a couple more soon, so I can continue and prove my theory may prove my theory correct. By the way, this is a conventional novel, is gripping, like it says up there. Yes, it's true. Once you start it, you will not finish um, you will finish it. You will not put it down. Uh, it's complex but in a very deceptive way. So it's really readable. There's a lot of um, deep thoughts in it, but yeah, you'll be swept along with the novel. And it's well written. So yes, I do recommend this. Definitely. If you are, if you don't, if you're tired now of the more experimental books on the, this year's Booker Longlist, this pro 
this provides a good antidote. Will it be shortlisted? I don't think so. But anyway, we'll go into my predictions in a few weeks' time. So, next, sorry, next up will be a town called Solis. I didn't get this from Book Deposit, but this book from Book Depository. This is an old bookmark that was lying about, by the way. I got it from our local indie, who kindly placed a big order for me. But anyway, that's uh, waffling. So this is next. I have a feeling it's another conventional novel. I tend not to read blurbs because it spoils the book for me. I do know she's Canadian, though. That's all. So that's it. That's what I've got to say about that. So Booker 21, 2021, China Room, another recommended one. It's been, I'll tell you, a strong Booker season so far. So far. I know I have more books to go through, but I've been enjoying every one. Okay, so did you read this? What do you think of it? What are your views? You can comment below. Bye, and see you till the next video.